Got some serious structural damage. That column holds up this whole piece of the building. There's this. They didn't even know about this one until we came to assess the job. I am back in Florida. It was good to see you. It's good to see you too, brother. As you guys know, Paul actually helped me build my house, which was super fucking cool. We got it all framed up and I'm still in the middle of that shit show. But anyway, I've been dragged back to Florida to do some structural work with Paul. Are you excited to do some structural work in a Home Depot? Always excited to work. <laughs> it's my favorite pastime anymore. It's like my hobby. It's like your hobby? Yeah, it's like my hobby. It's all I do. He's starting to build himself a rig here. Yep, and he's got himself a trailblazer. What is this gotta be? This gotta be a 90, so this is a 97. Something like that, but she's only got 450 hours on her. Yeah. Good running machine, man. I made a lot of money with that thing, doing a aluminum repair for Archer Weston on their, on a, on their transport boat. have that 14-pin connector to do aluminum with these yep. trailblazers. Yeah. So she works good, made me a lot of money, and will continue to make me a lot of money. Sweet. That's the main thing. We're going to start making this. Basically, what we're doing is replacing the bottom of... It's not really an I-beam. It's technically an H-beam, but we have to manufacture it because they do not sell this H-beam. So what we're gonna have to do is take this half inch plate here that I've ordered and we're gonna cut this thing up and we're gonna go ahead and make that into our column. So we're gonna prefabricate it and then install it tonight. Do I freehand it like an asshole? Somebody else in here? Probably a rat. What Paul's doing over here is he is cutting the supports we're going to need in order to temporarily support this thing while we rebuild the column. I've got my plate marked out at the six and a half inches I want down here and then over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to take a string line. Guys who work with wood and shit. And we're constantly cutting boards or plate or anything of that nature. Always do this because this is the easiest thing to do. That's what it looks like. This is the new Black Stallion logo. This is the old one. That's how you know Paul is old. I had these fuckers since 1982. Either burn my boot or my fucking glove. If I push it, my glove. If I pull it, my boot. My shitty cuts. Look how fucking horrible those are. Looks like somebody fucking chewed on them. Is what it is. We have all of our pieces prepped out. I'm just gonna go ahead and jig those up. I'm gonna jig them up using my fireball tool squares. We got our three and a quarter. It's another way to mark a long line on a plate. Works pretty good. It's squared up this way now, of course. But now we need to square it this way. So you can see it's a little out right there. Just give her a little. That looks about good to me. Check this one more time. We can just go like this. Perfect. See if we got the same measurement on the opposite side. We do not. So Paul's getting the welder fired up. What welder are we using today, Paul? We are using the Millermatic 210. You had to look at it? Yeah, forgot it's your, all It's your it. fucking welder. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> Paul's also got this sweet welding table. If you're gonna be productive, you gotta have good tools. Yeah. And that'll make, and that brings quality, and of course, money. Yeah, of course. That's why we do this.
I start the fit up process by marking the lines at three inches on each side, gives me a half inch in the middle. Set the plate up there, clamp it in, and then finally go ahead and measure to make sure I got it in the right spot. Good, good over there too? Yep. Alright. You like it? Yep. Eyeball. You like it? Yep. Alright. Square and everything? Yep. Alright. There's some Paul's welds right there. And then I only got half of this one done. There's the root. We're gonna make two passes on these here. And uh, then we'll bevel them out, make the base plates. And uh, yeah, be good to go. Hi there, Paul. These were my first set of gauges back in 1903. So they're almost as old as you, huh? Well, I think I they got a couple <laughs> years on me. <laughs> But yeah, I, this is what I bought. This is what come with the set. With that set over there. I'd get those fucking rebuilt. Those are cool. Yeah. Those are pretty neat. We'll see. I'm gonna have to drill these out. These are the base plates. So basically, these I beams are gonna sit on base plates. Originally, they were cemented into the ground. Obviously, we can't redo that. This is a repair. Something completely different. So I've uh, gone ahead and marked out where uh, our holes are gonna work the best based on where the mag drill and the uh, impact fit in here. The impact's the bigger tool. So I took the impact, we were able to measure that about two inches over and about an inch and a half over. This way is gonna be perfect. Now you can see with the plate squared up, we can get the impact in there comfortably. And the impact, like I said, is the bigger tool. So we'll have no problems getting our redheads on there now. Damn, I can't do shit. I can't do shit out here. That's probably what my problem was. <laughs> You're crazy to fuck cut like that though. The blind like that. Yeah. That shit hurts the fuck out of my eyes. I cut it a little bit long. Yeah, yeah. It's that way better cut than I got. Yeah. All right guys, we are in yet another Home Depot doing yet another column repair job. It's really become my bread and butter over the last few years. Let me show you the nastiness we're working with tonight. This is the original column we were called for. As you can see, got some serious structural damage. That column holds up this whole piece of the building. And this is, uh, in my opinion, due to all the fertilizer they store in this area. All of this stuff has got a good amount of rust on it, but we're just repairing the absolute necessities. So there's that one. And then there's this one. They didn't even know about this one until we came to assess the job. And as you can see, it's really nasty. So those pieces you've seen us make earlier, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 16 inches up, cut these out, bevel them, and then splice our new plate to this old plate. So we'll use that as a temporary support. Yeah. And we'll anchor that to the ground right there. Yep. So what are you saying? You're saying you think we need to cut the angle first? Put the bottle jack underneath it, cut the angle out? We could do that. Okay. All right.
so like the money machine roll. <laughs> so basically how we're doing this is we're going to use these uh, cutoff pieces that Paul got from some trailer job somewhere. We're going to be using those as our temporary supports for the column. What does that look like? Yeah, you give me a little bit more. A little bit more? Yeah. You give me about 10 more. For our temporary supports with the holes that are drilled right down there, we're going to be using these Tapcon concrete anchor screws. This is what my house in Montana is basically anchored down with, but the Simpson strong tie version and the bigger ones. These are half inch, we're only going to put two in, one in each leg, that's going to be plenty. Like an idiot, I forgot to bring either a shop vac or some way to blow out the hole, so I'm just gonna use the torch. People has a cat. I guess it lives here. They put food out for it. Weird. Something moved. Here, hit it with a hammer. I cut this bolt. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Subscribe! You can see this thing is just nastier than fuck. Look at that, it's crazy. And then up here, we have to replace this one. We're gonna leave this one. This one's fine. I mean, it's, it's good enough. But this one definitely needs to go. purling is notched i couldn't tell before but now it's that's actually kind of strange it's notched and then they welded it on right there so we're gonna have to address that after much debate we've opted to cut the beam down instead of cutting the angle off like i, I already had to on this side because it was so rotten we're going to replace that but this one we can we can fly with it it's a little rotten but not super rotten and those down there really aren't rotten at all so instead of Cutting that off and then jacking the purlings up, what we're doing is we're just cutting the beam a little lower than the 16 inches we originally planned for. And uh, we're gonna, so we're gonna cut it at about 14 inches, 13 inch, actually 13 inches total. And then we're gonna slip it in right there. And then we are gonna do our full pen weld all the way around. <laughs> She is no longer touching the ground. And we're gonna do one at a time. So we'll replace this one completely, and then we'll go over there and do that one. So now that you have the eighth beam cut down to the appropriate size, Paul's over there beveling one. I'm gonna start beveling the other. We're doing it with grinders just because uh, there's really no place for us to put this beam on and, and blow with a torch without fucking this concrete up really bad. So we're just gonna use the grinder, no big deal. It's gonna be a little more time consuming, but that way we don't have to ensure we don't have to try to patch any concrete or anything stupid. So I've got my beam beveled out. Paul's got his beam beveled out over there. And uh, he's starting to cut that out. And uh, we're gonna 
he's already split the front of it. And what we're going to do is run a torch in there down the side and then line it up and split the rest of it because you can't really see what the fuck you're doing once you're underneath there. What do you think, Paul? I don't know. Think the whole building's gonna collapse on us? Nope. No? Nope. Uh, I was kind of hoping I would die. No. It's tax season. I, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> nice. Out with the old. Fucking close. That's pretty fucking close. That's pretty fucking good. You really ain't got much of a gap anywhere, man. I wouldn't risk fucking trying to take more. You know what I'm saying? I would take it off of the beam because then, you, you know what I'm saying? It's right in front of you. You'd start taking shit up from underneath of it. Well, that's, I mean, it's just that, that little beam, the old beam that's sitting there. You know what I'm saying? I guess you can beat it out and do it. Said nothing. Huh? All right, so you just got to grind that little bit right there. right there. Yeah. Yeah. Think you'll fit like a glove, hopefully. I hope so. Look like it did. It was like right there. It was pretty fucking close. Nice. That looks really fucking good. That's fucking sweet. You want to turn down? I'm going to let it ride It'll just like that. It looks fucking good, man. Why do we want to use 6010 for the root on this? This old rusty shit. Yeah, because that 6010, that cellulose rod eats up that fucking rust, huh? Oh, yeah. So yeah. we're just going to do the 6010 as a root and run 7018 all the way out, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, got you the, I got you the good 6010, the red shit. Yeah, the good look. Hold on. The red shit. Yeah, that's the, that's the good <laughs> shit. Hundred. Yeah. Hunter? Okay. Yeah. More dig? Nah. Okay. Yeah. It looks good. It looks like it's a peeler. Yeah. Nice. All right, so now that we have a couple of passes made, this is not fully welded out but we need to move on to the next one so we can save time. I'm gonna remove these anchors. These are removable and reusable, and then we're gonna cut our temporary supports free and move them down there. I've got this all ready for Paul to finish this thing out. Actually, while he's, cause he's over, he's gonna be over there putting our temporary supports on. I'm gonna go ahead and well, hammer drill these. Hey, where did you turn? All right, let's start hammer drilling this. We 
barely have enough room between the purlin and the uh, channel here to go ahead and get our red heads in. So how we're gonna solve that is we're gonna have to cut all these purlins away. Not something I planned on doing, something we're gonna have to do. I need to knock the redhead in. I just got one more redhead after this. So basically this is where we're at. The redheads are tightened down. I need to do a bit more welding. So I'm gonna start that now and then we need to reattach our pearl. Welded out. Got a little flag still apparently. But uh, we have our purlins fixed and welded back on. I had a 6010 that can fix this too rusty. 7018 all the way out, 6010 root. Um, we got it anchored into the ground. They're gonna come back, put this curb in, uh, reform it, and also paint. We're not responsible for the paint. So we're looking good. Paul's down there, he's already demoed the other column. Let me show you where he's at. So there's the old column, he's already demoed it. He's prepping right now. He's got our temporary supports in place to pop the new column in. So he's getting that ready. I'm gonna pull all of our stuff down here and get him hooked up. Just that spot, I think. Oh yeah. They love to show you them bench yeah, welds. Tell me about it. Yeah, we can dance around them. But... Oh, that's shit. You ain't crawling under any shit. To... Yeah. I, you know what? I, I noticed that too. Yeah. The fucking they don't they don't ever show you them field welds. No. Nobody ever shows you their field welds except for there's one dude man, and you know what? He's a, I don't know how the fuck he does it. Always looks fucking great. There's some old masters come here. Yeah. Like that, that dude Bizates? Yeah. Dude, every fuck. I mean, just laying in laying in a fucking puddle. Yeah, he's a good welder. Welding pipe. He's good hand. You know oh, what I mean? fuck yeah. Yeah. This guy's really good. Yeah. He looks like I don't know how to fucking weld. So here it is. This column's ready to be cemented and painted. And so is this one. So we're rolling up and we're getting out of here. All right, guys. And so concludes another episode of Melt and Metal Anthony. We're being kicked out. I've got all my shit here I gotta put away. So I'm gonna let you guys go. If you like what you saw here today, that's fucking great. Give it a like. Subscribe it. If you did it, you go fuck yourself. I don't give two shits, alright? Have a great night, fuckers.